When we talk about a spinal fusion, what makes this a minimally invasive screw and this a normal screw? These are all types of screws that I showed in my video that are all used for spinal fusion. Essentially what we are trying to accomplish is placing screws through the pedicle. That's placed at the above and below vertebrae of what you're trying to fuse. And then you can place a rod in between followed by a cap that will be torqued off and will immobilize the spine. So these screws will hold the spine together where it can't move. Why we would actually perform a fusion over other types of surgery can be done for a multitude of reasons that I won't go through in this video. What makes this minimally invasive? Open surgery, what we will do is make a pretty big incision on the patient's back and dissect the muscles off to expose the spine. And once we have that exposed, we can make holes to insert the screw into each bone. A much less invasive way is by using screws that look like the one that I showed you that have a tower on it so we can place it through tiny little incisions on the patient's back and then feed a rod under the skin without having to disrupt the muscle. So instead of having one gigantic incision, the patient will have several smaller incisions. And when we're done with the fusion, these long heads actually snap off right at the base of the tulip head so it ends up looking just like this. Smaller incisions and less muscle dissection typically leads to an easier recovery for the patient. Usually that means less pain and less complications such as bleeding and wound infections. If you're a patient and you've been recommended a spinal fusion, ask your surgeon if they perform minimally invasive surgery and if you might be a candidate. I hope you learned something.